Hello, ladies and gentlemen, with the Telemaniacs. I'm David. I'm Miguel. Today we're watching episode two of The Office season one. Yeah, second time this week. You're in for a treat, guys. Well, uh, last time was the uh, Patreon Choice tier. We're actually filming these two, you know, right after one another. Um, but yeah, last time, introduction, the whole stuff. We got a couple of characters. We got Michael Scott, Ryan, yeah. Dwight, and all those. The, all the others, but yeah. Jim, Jim, and Pam. Jim, Pam Jim. <laughs> Double Jim. <laughs> Jim and Pam seem pretty important too. Yeah. Well, there's it's kind of you know there's not like a plot to talk about. Well, we did have some something they talked about, pretty major thing. Uh, was, downsizing. Yeah. So we'll see. I, I don't know. You know, I've I, just to clarify. I've already watched the entire show. I was just kind of having a a tough time remembering whenever stuff happens in this show because there's nine seasons. But David, you've not watched any of it. No. So he's going to be doing a little bit of the, uh, well, I, I wouldn't say theorizing in a sitcom, but, you know, I'm not going to spoil anything. I'm just going to relax, sit back, and, and laugh at this show. And I'm going to think about everything that's happened and put together pieces. <laughs> yeah. So I guess we'll just jump right into the reaction, right? We'll see what's going to happen. Well, that was... Uh interesting um, yeah well you know it's like there's definitely something to you know you can take it seriously if you want to you know i'm just kind of watching I don't, i'm not speaking on your behalf but you when i'm watching tv shows or movies and stuff like that right i'm just in general like i'm not a type of person who gets angry at whatever they're doing you no, know to me it's just no. the characters are like that right and that's the way they yeah. are if they're messed up it doesn't mean the show is messed up they shouldn't do that right because you're also going to have like otherwise you couldn't have serial killers in any movies right yeah. you can have a movie about uh, anything basically there will always be some bad people right yeah so that's just the way it is um but it, it, it really <laughs> is funny how much he's trying to <laughs> overcompensate you know being the Almost a moral god. This just feels yeah. so terror, so horribly. I don't get how he can feel that hard. Like I'm sure his intentions aren't as bad as they seem. Like, right? Yeah. He doesn't have bad intentions. He's just trying to be funny and get people to like him. And he fails miserably. Yeah. M yeah. Miserably every but time. He, he's got a crazy ego, like. Yeah. So, I mean, it's all about him. There's a lot of people in, you know, general, whenever you're watching anything, they're like, oh, you shouldn't laugh at that, right? Because uh, whatever. I don't yeah. care. <laughs> I don't care either. <laughs> so, if, if I think it's funny, I laugh. Yeah. You know, comedy can be all sorts of things. As long as it's, well, you know. Comedy, comedy is subjective. Yeah. It's art. Yeah. Basically. Um, but. It, I would almost go to the extent of saying that Michael Scott, the character's uh, comedy, is objectively bad. Yeah, but uh, you know <laughs> that's what makes it funny. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because he's he's so bad at comedy, but he pushes it so I, hard. I mean, Steve makes Carole. everyone uncomfortable and yeah, just works. Steve Carroll plays so well. I I love his acting. It's it's crazy good. You know, they really like suit each other well. These people. I think because we got you know we got some balance with these you know kind of normal people and then we have some really all unbalanced people <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know I mean, but I, Jim and Dwight are like exact opposites well Jim is kind of normal you know he's more normal yeah, than Dwight but he likes playing pranks yeah but that's also and... you know just in general when you're talking of uh whatever you know situational awareness of when to do stuff and all that you know yeah uh, michael scott has none of that he's the worst no. at that jim jim has all of it he knows exactly <laughs> well he knows not to say stupid ass things oh yeah um well like whenever that. that guy mr brown right he was asking uh, let's play a game and then instantly Dwight was like, oh, some ground rules, right? He wanted like yeah. just, just go along with it <laughs> He doesn't get it, but that's also funny 
yeah. all the small things i love the attention to detail they've put into this the, the writers um especially well later on as well but yeah it's good this is just it's just a treat watching this show i think yeah it is pretty funny yeah well I like the humor a lot yeah it's one of the better sitcoms i've watched definitely um i don't know if you got anything else to add mm, there's not much to add we didn't have anything to do with the downsizing from last time if we we're kind of trying oh. to go for something some continuity so we didn't have that oh we we had some mentions of it didn't we I thought someone mm -hmm. said something about it. Maybe. Oh, shoot, I don't remember. Well, anyway, um, yeah. Next time we're gonna be uh, posting the office would be, I th yeah, Saturday eight a.m. No. Yeah, eight a.m. So eight a.m. Um, every Saturday is when we're watching. And uh, if you want us to watch two times a week, you can go ahead over on Patreon, vote for what, whichever show you want an additional time that week. Um, so yeah, see you guys in the next reaction. Bye. Bye.